Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in global connectivity, digital infrastructure, and the networks within. I'm Allison Whelan, coming to you live from Metro Connect USA 2024 in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And joining me today is Rod Hansen and Jonathan Restivo, co-founders at Cityside Fiber. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Allison. Appreciate that. Of course. So, Jonathan, you presented on a panel this morning. So for those who can't make it, can you tell us a little bit about that panel and some key takeaways? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it was a really interesting conversation with some other industry leaders from other areas um, with, throughout the U.S., um, a little bit further along in some of their developments. So it was interesting to hear some of their stories about some of the challenges that they're they're having compared to us, who you know is relatively new to the to the space and um, where the industry is going in particular around fiber to the home and, and fiber to the prem out out in those communities. Um, I think kind of the consensus is that there's a shift right now from um, a bit of a wild west. Everyone trying to figure out who's going where and and um, who the who the developers were going to be into more settling into um, some established companies. And now it goes from um, you know. Uh, staking your claim or anything like that to now being able to execute and optimize um, through some of your efficiencies. So one of the points that I really tried to, to, to hit on, um, and that is a focus for us at, at Cityside, is um, as we look at some of those, um, you know, how, how to operate within that environment, um, the keys for us are going to be uh, taking advantage and leveraging our um, Operational efficiencies, being local to Orange County, having that presence, um, you know, say, you know, is, is a good OPEX driver there. Um, marketing and brand efficiencies, so being able to uh, speak to the community um, and hit more people at once that, as opposed to being spread out, um, you know, across different franchises. And at the end of the day, the focus on the customer experience, um, that's our driver uh, as a differentiator within the market. Um, you know, from the cable companies, from the legacy providers. And so um, I think across the board, what you're seeing uh, for us and, and other uh, industry developers is a focus on that um, and, and making sure that we're getting that right. And it's hard. Um, right. I think that was a big part of that conversation. Sounds like the overall theme were efficiency. We're driving towards efficiency and off assets. Performance, right? Executing yeah. on all these business models that we've, we've had out there and we've talked about and you know, looking at the numbers, right? Um, but th at the end of the day, you have to hit those numbers, right? And right. so that that that'll be a big focus for for us and and the industry on the whole to see who who can, you know, perform the way that we said we could. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's it's really become now a um, prove it, right? Yeah. You, we you you know the people have been funded. We're out. We're building. We're doing all those things, and it's gone. The it's gone from show me you can build to tell me how many passings you have. And now it's okay. What's your penetration rate really going to look like? And are these models yeah. going to work? And yeah. so I think it's really comes down to execution. You know, we feel very confident that we're, we're on the right path. We've made the right decisions. Uh, we're seeing really um, great signs, but we're still really early. So it's really now a matter of, you know, executing on what we said right. we were going to do. We'll get updates on all of those stats, I'm sure. And then Metro Connects future, correct? Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> yes. Well, um, we talked to you in Honolulu. We got to catch up there, and you guys had talked about Tustin and Data Point. Do we have any updates there? Go ahead. <laughs> no, um, yeah, no. We continue to uh, to develop um, uh, more neighborhoods and, and bring more neighborhoods online and bring more customers uh, within those neighborhoods online, which is exciting. Um, you know, going through the you know the expected growing pains, how to get up to our full operating speed, as we talked about. Um, so that's all part of you know expected challenges. Right. Um, you know, some on the on the build side as well. Um, someone asked if, if you know if there was a surprise. You know, uh, if building in California was a surprise, and you know the the response is no. We knew that it was going to be slow. We knew that it was going to be challenging and things like that. So, um, so we're just, we're, we're powering through. Um, yeah, we learn from our growing pains, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and, um, you know, more, uh, cities in the works, um, throughout Orange County, um, as we've talked about and been steadfast in our focus is on finding, um, uh, un, un, underserved, um, uh, people throughout Orange County and communities and being able to bring fiber to those communities. Um, and so 
our target for 2024 is is to be out there in you know about 10 cities by the end of the end of this year and so um we're on track and, and moving forward with that very exciting yep. growth 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 yeah i think one of the things that we've seen is the city it's not just us going through a learning curve but the cities are going through a learning curve as well it, yeah. it's been 50 years since somebody's gone into a city and built at the scale we're building and so pretty much city staff hasn't had hasn't really gone through this before so they're learning with us and um, the good news is i think the city of tustin's a great example where we started slower but as the city gets more comfortable with what we're doing, um, permits are starting to flow faster. They're right. starting to be more comfortable how they support, you know, in the, us in the field to make sure that they've got the right inspectors and that they know what to look for. So it's really, I think, a real positive sign for us as we get yeah. into the same things now happening with Dana Point. So that's a good sign. And as we get into new cities, I think we'll continue to learn well, along with the city on how to work together and, and hopefully start to accelerate that build. Yeah, just getting in the groove of things, yep. right? Yep, exactly. And you touched on a minute ago um, the customer experience. Yep. Can you tell us a little bit more about the customer experience that you guys are providing and the great work that you're doing in those communities through that? Yeah, and I think Jonathan's team actually is focused in that area. Um, he pretty much uh, owns that part of the business, but I think we are completely aligned that that is, in our opinion, the single biggest, biggest thing that we have to keep our eye on and focus on. And Jonathan, you can speak to it. Yeah, it's, you know, just adding, uh, adding a level of communication and, and, um, and engagement that I think is, is lacking from some of the legacy providers. Um, being able to to have direct communications with with folks that are higher level in, even in the company, right? We had someone show up in our office. I don't know if you told that story last time, but um, you know, someone showed up in our office and had um, you know some questions or whatever, and, and Rod was the one that dealt with them and, and kind of walked them through a couple of things, and he left happy, right? Um, you know, when's the last time you were able to have access to the, the Cox CEO, right? Right. Um, in that that level of uh, engagement. So, um, yeah, for us, it's, you know, being local, having, having, putting ourselves out there in the community in a number of different ways, um, exposing ourselves to that, um, feedback and, and interaction is really what, um, drives, drives that. And then we're also working on some cool things actually with JSA, um, to, to, to continue to enhance that customer experience, provide, um, additional benefits that go beyond just a higher quality internet service and internet experience and so we're excited to, to bring those on over the next couple quarters yeah well it sounds like you guys have so much to look forward to for the rest of 2024 and beyond so for our viewers um who want to go to learn more where can they go to connect with you guys or to reach out to you yeah um citysidefiber.com if you're in, in market go ahead and sign up um but uh yeah industry-wide um where we have a pretty active presence on our socials and, and linkedin in particular so um yeah we're always available. All right. Give them a follow on LinkedIn. Thank you guys for joining me. It was great catching up. And thank you to our viewers for tuning in. Until next time, happy networking. Thank you, thank you Allison.